folks, I am selling one of these trailers back here behind me. I'm gonna tell you which one that is in a little bit. But first I wanna tell you what I've learned you know, you, you hope you learn a little bit more as you go along. So I've learned a decent amount since the last time I did a trailer video. I'm going to tell you what I learned today so it maybe helps you make a, an even better decision if you're going out there looking for a trailer for your tractor, your equipment, or whatever else it is. Maybe some things to avoid, some things to think about. Let's get started. All right, so this trailer I bought, I don't know, four or five years ago, something like that, to haul tractors in the wintertime. Wanted something enclosed, so I bought it taller than normal. Um, it's a 10,000 pound GVWR. I'll get more into that in a minute because that's important too. Next one here, I've had this for 14 months or so. I haven't actually used it a whole lot. We've used it a little bit, but I do have a PJ Gooseneck. I, I like this. Um, Big Tex Gooseneck better. It rides better. It's a dual axle, 24,000 pound GVWR compared to the PJ, which is a single axle, 14,000 pound. The stuff that I haul isn't heavy. It just takes up a lot of space. So I don't need the, the capacity necessarily. I just need the length. And uh, that PJ is 30 foot long, 14,000 pound GVWR, 24 foot long, I think, and 24,000 pound GVWR. This rides a lot better behind your truck. Last one up here, the Diamond C. Uh, this is a triple axle. Oh, that um, that enclosed trailer is a tandem axle, single wheel tandem axle, okay? Then well, it's got four tires on each axle. Does that make sense? Okay, so this is a, a single tire, but three axles, all right? This is a 21,000 pound GVWR, 20 foot dump trailer, high side walls. I thought this was gonna be the answer to my dump trailer solution. I'm gonna tell you more about this one too. Okay, so a big thing what I've learned Starting off, difference between bumper pull and gooseneck, all right? So gooseneck is pretty much always, I feel like, going to feel better driving it, handle the load better, handle the weight better, whether it's empty or loaded. Um, a bit more of a pain to hook up. You know, it's a lot easier if you have two people doing it, one back there kind of spotting, and then one, you know, driving the, the, the truck and backing up to it. Bumper pull, you know, anything nowadays has a has a rear camera. You can see right down there really easy. And in one of my trucks, it's got the cab camera, but a fuel tank's in the way, so I can't see the ball in here. And the other truck, I can see the ball, uh, so it's not that bad, but you still have to climb up in there, hook it up. So as you get older, it's, you know, and if you're doing it a lot, hooking up and unhooking, it's kind of just a pain in the butt to have to hop up in there and do all that. It is easier. Um, so for short trips around town, if I can use this trailer, I will, just because it's it's nice just to go right back to the bumper and hook it up. And, and if you don't have a ton of weight, like on my F-350, you're not really noticing it anyways. So uh, coolest thing that I absolutely love about this dump trailer is that it's got hydraulic jacks, all right? And so that is just a push of a button. I'll show you that too. Just a push of a button to lower those things down and raise them back up. So here you have a crank handle to raise them up. Same thing even here for just this, uh, this pivot jack right here. You gotta crank this thing around and it's just a pain, right? I mean, it's, it's not that you can't do it, but convenience I absolutely love. And you pay for that convenience too. As I get older, as I get lazier, at, I mean, right now my back's killing me just as we're standing here. I like those creature comforts and you pay for them. It's one more thing to go wrong. And so it's always a trade off. Um, but if you can afford it, if it's in your budget and it's an option available for the, the trailer you're looking at, I would highly consider it. Folks, we are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden, we're big on safety on this channel. These tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze. And it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. Next thing I've learned is always, always, always pay for the upgraded tires on your trailers, all right? So this trailer here, I think actually, I think Chris took it for one of the first trips delivering a tractor years ago, and he had a flat tire on that first trip, and uh, fortunately the, the tire shop, um, man, great, great folks there. They helped him out pretty much right away and got him back on the road. I've replaced all the tires on this trailer. On my PJ, I replaced all of those. Um, I used to have a lot of, you know, smaller, just bumper pull open decks as well, and I would replace those too. I paid for upgraded trailers here. I paid for upgraded trailer trailer tires on this one too. It's well worth it because I don't I don't know what it is. I don't know what the reason is necessarily, but 
Trailer tires get flats like on a regular basis and that's just a pain in the neck. So if you can upgrade to a, a, a better ply, a better quality tire all around, you're gonna be doing yourself a favor in the long run. All right, so I've got actually four trailers right now. I mentioned that other open deck gooseneck that we have, the PJ trailer. And I think I'm, I'm gonna end up selling all three. Well, I'm gonna end up selling three out of my four trailers. I think I'm gonna end up selling this enclosed trailer here. Um, I wanna get a 14,000 pound GVWR. And so let me explain what that means. And so that's gonna be the, the, the total weight that the axles can hold that the trailer is rated for from the manufacturer. And manufacturers do have a way, a real, real sneaky way of changing that GVWR almost without doing anything to the to the trailer itself they can downrate it you know if you need to get underneath like a cdl requirement that kind of thing that whole thing is goofy and for another story but this is a 10,000 pound gvwr trailer and so that does not mean that you can haul 10,000 pounds with this trailer it means you need to take the actual trailer weight right so add this all this stuff up and then if you add on a spare tire and if you add on some other options, maybe like a storage box or something like that. You have to add on all that weight as well and deduct that from the GVWR. So let's just say it's 4,000 pounds trailer weight. You start out with 10,000, you minus out 4,000 pounds and you're left with 6,000 pounds. And that's assuming you have the optimal weight ratio for where, it's, where everything is positioned on the trailer. And so a 10,000 pound trailer lets you haul 6,000 pounds max. For me, I wanna be able to haul more weight. I wanna see if I can get a bit taller trailer, if I can get one without interior uh, wheel wells um, and a heavier GVWR so I can haul more stuff, taller stuff, bigger stuff, a more reinforced door on the back too, um, and let that be my final enclosed trailer that I get. All right, so as far as the open deck gooseneck goes, I'm gonna hang on to this gooseneck here, at least for the time being. Probably gonna end up selling my PJ. Um, I paid extra on that PJ. That, that PJ has not been great. Um, had several things go wrong with that. You know, we don't use our trailers a ton. We use them when we need them, but we're not like on the road like a freight hauler every day. You know, the spare tire mount broke off going down the road and let that spare tire just drag along the ground, disintegrating that, uh, making a big mess. We paid extra to have that primed before it was powder coated because I just know how steel trailers rust with time. So it cost extra to have the, the priming done. It cost extra because the only plant that PJ had to prime was down in Texas. And so it was further transportation back up to Michigan. So that cost more and that thing is still rusting out. It wasn't worth it at all. So very disappointed in that. And it just doesn't ride as well as, as this trailer does. So I'm gonna keep this trailer for now. We don't need, we don't, my business model's changed a bit, so I don't haul nearly as much as I, I used to. I don't need the 30 foot deck. And so I'm gonna get rid of that one, hang on to this guy. And I had also, one of the reasons I got this trailer was because of the higher GVWR, and I wanted to be able to haul my skid steer. I wanted to be able to haul our Manitou telehandler around. Um, what I found is I need to eventually get a, you know, what is it, a low boy? A, a low, something lower to the ground because the skid steer, I almost flipped the skid steer backwards when I didn't have a bucket on the front. Just all that weight going up those mega ramps, wanted to tip it over backwards. Uh, very dangerous. I need something that's just closer to the ground in general for that big equipment. And honestly, that's part of the reason I got this dump trailer here is I'd had this and then I wanted to get a dump trailer anyway. Well, this is the whole story. Basically, it started out, I wanted to get a dump trailer, right? I have, I have a need, an ongoing need to move material around and I just was going to get a you know, a 10, 12, 14 foot, just a, the, the dump trailers that you see all over the place, right? Just a bumper pull, maybe a gooseneck if, if it worked out. But that's all I was looking to get, somewhere probably in the eight, 10, 11, $12,000 range. And then the dealer I was talking to kind of described what I want to use it for. They had this trailer out there and I got to thinking about it and it was around $30,000 uh, for this trailer, a huge upgrade, right? But this was 20 foot long. It was a triple axle, you know, 21,000 uh, GVWR or maybe 22,000 GVWR on there. Could do pretty much anything I wanted to is what I was told, you know, could haul the dirt loads, you know, the mulch, the debris, the trash, whatever it is that I'm doing for the job, but I could also haul my skid steer around with it, um, my, my mini excavator, all the heavy equipment that was too heavy for the 14,000 pound PJ trailer. And so I thought this just checked so many boxes, right, that I could, I could get away with using this for a lot of different things and eventually replace one of the open decks with it. 
Well, about a month ago, we did a video out here loading this thing up with topsoil. I'm, I'm putting in a driveway expansion, was loading up the topsoil, and it's deceiving. You look at this and you think, I can fill this thing up and just go haul the way and dump it. Well, you know, sometimes if you don't think things through that thoroughly, it, it doesn't kick in <laughs> until it's too late. And so that's what happened to us is we loaded it up about halfway, realized there's probably a lot of weight in there, hooked it up, got it back here to dump it out, and it wouldn't lift. It was way overloaded, you know, very deceiving, thinking you can fill it full of whatever you want and then dump it out later. A lot of different reasons for that, our miscalculations, our own ignorance. Um, but I think a lot of that also is, is, I'm not a dump trailer expert. I talked to a company that sold dump trailers and it seems that that would be a critical piece of information to share with the customer. I sell tractors, I sell tractor attachments. I consider myself an expert in that. I've done that for years and I ask the questions preemptively before I'm even asked on what you're looking to do with it, what the limitations might be. I'll tell a customer um, everything that they hopefully need to know so that they're successful with the equipment when they get it back home. I didn't know that about this trailer. To me, that huge premium, right, that $30,000 price point compared to the, just say $10,000 price point meant that I could do more with it. And again, my fault, but when I called Diamond C after we had this thing loaded up and weren't sure exactly what we were gonna do, even talking to their customer support, we could not get a, a straight clean answer on how much this thing can dump. It all depends on where it's positioned in the trailer. It just seemed like it was it's an unattainable number that you can have, but all I know is that we were way over that limitation. There's no big warning stickers on here to say, like, be careful about that. I don't know. I just feel like there's some improvements that should be desired. And uh, for me, it was a big letdown. And so really, that's an improvement that should be implemented is, is number one, making it obvious on the trailer to, to know the load limit. And whether that is a dynamic number or not, giving a range based on position or just big warning signs or something for consumer education. And then same thing with your dealers when they're selling them. I mean, this is, again, a premium piece of equipment. Why should I expect subpar performance, you know, when it's doing the same or less as a, a trailer that costs a third of the price? And so I'm, I'm mentioning all of that now because in fact, that is a trailer that I'm selling right now. And I do want to give you kind of a walk around, a better look at it, because I think that if it's well, if you know the full picture of what it's about, then you as a consumer can decide if it's the right trailer for you. Because what if you're just hauling mulch around or just trash? You know, if you're not hauling dirt loads, then you'll be okay. Um, for me, that information wasn't relayed and that's a big disappointment and that's, that's my cost burden to, <laughs> to bear as I sell this, most likely for a loss, right? So I think for the right person, it's a great trailer. It is multi-purpose because I did haul my skid steer in there. I did haul other equipment in there. It, it has heavy duty ramps. It's got a lot of amazing qualities about it, but it was not as multi-purpose as I hoped it would be. And so I'm gonna sell it, go back to my original plan of getting that smaller, cheaper dump trailer. And then I may end up adding more of that low boy trailer for the really heavy equipment like I talked about earlier and still coming out with some cash to spare. So let's hook this thing up and we'll pull it out so we can show you more about it, more about the features, what I know about it. I don't know everything about it, but I'll tell you what I do know about it, give you a good look at it, and we're gonna post it for sale on our website. And so if you're watching this video soon, you will see it for sale up there on the website, but if it's in the future, I'm not a Diamond C or a dump trailer dealer or anything like that. I don't have more of these available. It's just the one. Alrighty folks, so this is it. The 20 foot long triple axle diamond C high sided dump trailer. All right, so seven gauge steel. This is a big deal. This is some heavy duty steel that's on here, but that also means that's a lot of weight. You can look at the, the sticker up here and you have three 7,000 pound axles. All right, and it says on another sticker, weight of the cargo should never exceed 16,780 pounds. All right, so that's not necessarily what the dump rating is about that's just what you can put inside here to transport move around so a lot of cool things about this trailer you know it does have this tarp on here as well one thing i want to point out i don't know if it's a, a diamond c issue or um you know a bex trailer store issue but it did come with too short of a cover so the cover should hook up way back over here right behind these little hooks okay and the cover stopped up here so finally after 
like begging and pleading and, and spending way too much time on the phone, I was able to get a tarp that I haven't even put on yet. I just got it last week, it showed up. But uh, I'll get that installed on there too. Got a little step right down here. But um, this whole controller that's up front, I wanna lift this thing up and show you. Okay, so you've got this controller, it is magnet too, so you can stick it on something if you want to, which is nice, but hydraulically raise and lower, or you can gravity lower it as well. So I always try to kind of preserve that battery life whenever possible. Oh, I've got a, a solar charger for it too that I kind of keep on here all the time. So help keep that battery charged and maintain kind of like a, a trickle charger. I'm gonna show you that too. I got that right on Amazon, that's worked out well. Um, but let me show you how this goes up and down. So that is max height and uh, I will say, when I've had this thing loaded up, you wanna be really careful to have it on level ground. You know, um, just that one center pivot point, there's a lot of weight, a lot of mass that can be up there twisting and turning. And when we uh, had gravel dropped off, even in the dump trucks um, up there in the front of the property, man, it, it's crazy how that, that mass can really pivot around and shift, especially as stuff is dropping down and kind of breaking free on one side or the other, not consistently. So be really careful when you're doing that. But really a pretty cool look here at the underbelly of this trailer. It may look like it, but I'm not underneath it. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty safe where I'm standing. But you can see the construction of it, the I-beams, everything else. There's a tray, kind of a, a, a tray there for the, uh, the hydraulics to come back to the cylinder. So this type of cylinder, I think, is one of the the big problems that I'm having with the, the limited dump capacity, a lot of folks talk about the telescoping dump trailers, okay, which I think is gonna be a big cylinder up in the front that shoots all the way up, or you have a double, a double cylinder you can have as well, or a double piston they may call it, but this is a single um, piston style or a single cylinder style, and I think that's where some of the problems are coming, but good look at the triple axle. You can see the, tr the, uh, the ramp storage underneath here too nice and out of the way but uh, it's pretty clean there's not a lot of mess to it and i guess you know if you did have to get access to to handle wiring or something else um, pretty easy to get to and you'll see there's a uh, kind of a brace a mechanical stop you know so you can lower it down and and probably have it propped up oh i don't know this high or so uh, if you need to work on it and service it that kind of thing too and i think again we don't use our trailers a lot but we use them enough in all sorts of conditions and seasons this gives a good look at the underside of a trailer that has seen a Michigan winner, just one, but still has seen a Michigan winner. And there's, the well, the paint's holding up really, really well. So there's, you know, a few little kind of dripping bits of rust on it, but overall, this is in really, really good shape. I wouldn't say it looks brand new, but it looks darn close. You know, and as I, I kind of think about that dump truck up front, you know, that offloaded all the gravel, 200 yards total so far that they've done on this on this section of drive you know it kind of paints that deceiving picture right because they're loading up their their dump truck pretty much full or close to it every time and dumping it out just kind of using it like you would think if you have the the visual capacity you load it up and you use it and so that's the deceiving part here is you can't just load it up and use it if it's all dirt or or stone right if it's if it's mulch more than likely you're okay if it's just kind of trash and random debris like from a construction site you're probably just fine, right? I mean, we've had this whole thing loaded up when we bought our, our, our place over on Pawpaw. We cleaned that whole thing out. This was loaded with trash and it dumped it just fine. So it depends what it is, but that's the deceiving part, the, that, that deceptive part visually that got me. You know, it kind of it kind of caught me off guard and, and, and I wanna make sure whoever buys this knows, you know, that reality of, of the situation. So anyway, I'll go ahead and load this down. I'll show you the back tailgate. That does uh, open a few different ways too. So drop that down using gravity. You can use it hydraulically or just gravity to lower it right back down. But I'll show you inside that box. There is a lever there just to switch back and forth between uh, the jack stands and the, uh, the dump system itself. You know, an easy gooseneck system, it's, it's pretty straightforward there, nothing special. I do use the B&W, um, hitch system in the back of my truck that's really common easy to use easy to take out if you need to i want to show you the back of the trailer the doors back there how they open in a couple different configurations too all right so these doors of course swing open this way all right so you can you can pop this out and open them all the way up one way or the other and there's chain holders to kind of hold you know just hold them back open like this way so if you're dumping out you can do that um, and then you can see actually probably a little bit easier to see without the doors in the way, but right down here is where 
uh, the closures are for the ramps. So you can just pull these pins out, these covers, and slide the ramps out and hook them right on this rail too. Uh, easy enough to do, and, and I can load my John Deere 333G skid steer. Very heavy, heaviest, probably one of the heaviest skid steers that's out there with those ramps, no problem at all. So they're very heavy duty. But then you can also get this closed back up. If you want to, you can release this right here. All right, so you can pull that out, pop that back, and then it'll, they'll swing on these top two pivot points. So these two doors are latched together and they'll swing from the top hinge point there. So if you want to try to tailgate some material out, you could do that. Um, or just control the dump process, I guess. Anyway, good look at the back side of this too. Everything about this trailer is built heavy. There's no doubt about it. You know, for me, it's just more of that, I wanted this to do everything that I needed to do and, and it doesn't. So paying a premium for something that still doesn't do, doesn't check all the boxes, doesn't make sense to me. And so I'm moving on from it, even if I lose some money on it and just going on to the next thing. So we're pretty much wrapping it up. One final thing I wanna mention, a lot of guys did talk about using a piece of equipment, whether it was my skid steer or get a tractor or something else to kind of help lift it up when it was struggling, you know, just to get it started. And I definitely could have done that, but knowing my luck, I would have uh, caused further damage. I probably would have somehow damaged the, hydro <laughs> the hydraulic system on, on this trailer by doing so. That's just not a risk that I really wanted to take. So we, we, able, we were able to get it offloaded and emptied out and everything else, but um, I wanted to respond to that from the previous video just because I, well, even Diamond C kind of unofficially said that, right? They weren't endorsing that, but they said that that's something you could do um, if you're willing to kind of take that risk. So, but again, you're, you're kind of lifting it up, propping it up, and maybe who knows, a, a load goes wonky and something bad happens that way. So this is gonna be for sale on the website. Again, this is as of August, 2022. If you're looking in the future, we're not gonna have it. It'll be gone by that point, but gives you an overview. But this is a great trailer all around. It tows very well, it hauls a heavy load, you know, like the 333G and a, and a Multra head, for example, it, it hauls that around. So a very heavy load nearing the, the max capacity on it. Everything functions on it like it's supposed to, right? It's just that, again, that perception deal. So just be aware of that if you are interested in, or if you're looking to get one from Diamond C, be aware of that as well. Talk about it with your rep, with your dealer, whoever it is you're buying it from to make sure that you're getting set up properly. Maybe there's an option to get a telescoping dump system on here too with, the, with that cylinder, which is gonna handle that weight, I think a lot better. Um, I don't think this should have ever been sold with the, the cylinder that's on there. I think that's just a bad, a bad setup. But anyway, I appreciate you watching. Hopefully you found some helpful nuggets in here, or at least entertaining, looking at a pretty cool trailer. There's not a whole lot of these out there, so it's kind of fun to see. And I do want to make sure you know that we sell and ship tractor attachments all over the country. So if you own a tractor or a skid steer even, we more than likely sell an attachment to work for your piece of equipment and we'd love to help you out. So check out goodworkstractors.com. If you enjoyed today's video, we'd love to have you tag along. Hit that subscribe button right down below. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.